Figured we'd bring the little ones with us today to uh, oh kind of recap a little bit. Don't say that. Okay. Yeah, do not say little ones. We are not. Say, we brought the kids with us. Oh, no, we brought the teens. The teens, the, the, teen. the pre -teen. Yeah, like the that. Teen. Okay. Well, he said teen. <laughs> oh, I meant team. Yeah, do team. We don't have any teens. Team. Don't do that here. Hey, guys, I'm a tween. Tween? Keep going. back. I'm Lee. She's Hannah. I'm Emma. He's Hudson. <laughs> so we decided to bring the rest of the team with us, the Yoder team here, uh, to talk a little bit more about where we are today and, and kind of just looking back over the whole journey. So all the way back in 2017, uh, Emma would have been four at the time. Hudson would have been two. Um, he probably wasn't ready to get into real estate, but we did it anyway. Um, flipped a house uh, here in Lebanon, Ohio, where we live. Uh, next year we did a duplex. Uh, kind of kept taking the next step and the next year in 2019 we got a 16-unit apartment uh, here locally and then got an 8-unit and a 10-unit. Um, you guys were definitely a part of those. You remember some of those? The, oh yeah. Um, schoolhouse. Yeah. Some of those. Um, 2020 we had kind of turned all those properties around. Uh, COVID happened. Decided to sell the entire portfolio and go all in on real estate. Hannah was already uh, out of a job. <laughs> uh, gave up the nursing. You were just PRN before. Yeah. But stay home because we started homeschooling in 2020 right, as well right. uh, in the fall of 2020 but then I left my W2 uh, they threw me a little mini retirement party since I was yeah. retiring from physical therapy went all in on real estate and so the last video we did was talking about 2021 and kind of into 2022 because that's when we started syndicating apartments and that's what we still do today uh, we've just been doing that ever since want to keep doing it so I guess just to bring us all the way up to speed to, to today we have just four apartment complexes uh, where we live. We live between Dayton and Cincinnati. We got some in Dayton, some in Cincinnati, some about an hour north of Dayton. Those four apartment complexes make up 350 units. We've raised eight, a little over 8.3 million from investors, from almost 90 investors uh, on those projects. Seems crazy to say yeah, that today. So crazy. We, we started, started a property management company. Yep. Uh, that was about a year ago now. That's been such a blessing. Uh, it felt like at the time we were starting a second company, so it was it was a lot. Um, a lot. But it's allowed us to really build out this incredible team um, with some really great people. And so now we have, I guess, like 12 employees. Um, yep. And it's it's been an adventure, but yeah, it's it been really good being able to manage our own properties, being able to be a lot more hands-on with um, with not only staff, but residents and just the properties themselves. So it's been been a really good thing yeah that's opened up a lot for us to be able to take more control and kind of do some different things and then um, threefold on missions been able to yeah. develop through that so that's kind of the numbers behind where we are today um, I guess you know my job or what I do hasn't changed that much over the past at least over the past few years I mean I've got the property management to worry about now but got a lot of people in place that do most of that so I'm really still just out trying to find the deals find investors put it all together um, so that we can you know grow the portfolio uh, but you're job has kind of evolved as yeah. they've more into school and gotten older you've been able you've yeah. definitely gotten more involved in the business. Which this is my most important job right here and this is by far my funnest job but <laughs> and hardest. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but yeah no I, my job has definitely evolved over the years. I feel like sometimes I'm just walking behind you catching you know whatever balls are falling um, depending on the day. Yeah, I really have a huge hand in pre fold on mission and this is the team right here um, and we work really hard to just serve our residents and show them maybe a little bit of God's love in a different kind of way. Uh, and that's just been fun. It's been fun for us. And then I do a lot of the client relations side. Um, so I talk with uh, investors, staff, anything that needs to be kind of filtered through me before it kind of hits you. And so we've kind of de developed that role too. So yeah, that's a little bit more of what it looks like for me. When we do our videos, we always talk about the, the good and the bad and where we saw God during that part of our journey. So. Um, I guess looking back or even looking at today where we're at, what would you guys say is the good of 
threefold in the way we operate. Well, I mean, I really like threefold, um, especially like I just like my mom and dad's jobs because they're more um, like home a lot and I get to spend more time with them because they do work a lot, but still they're not like gone early in the morning and come back late at night. So I like that. Yeah, yeah I do too. Yeah. Uh, well, what about some bad? Are there any bad parts? I mean, do we make you do anything drives, you don't want to do? Like, for some long drives. Right yeah, there. like yeah. two hours. Yeah. One of our apartments is two hours away, so it's four hours if we go up and back, which we did last Monday. Yeah. For the pizza yeah, night yeah. in Elida. So, yeah, we've got some long drives. This can get a little bit boring. Yeah, I don't like picking up trash. So. I, I do. <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> I do. What do you like about picking up the trash? You have found some good stuff. You found the Halloween mask that one time. Yeah, I think I think you had to throw that away. You you do still have that? Okay, oh, good. Nice. Where have you guys maybe seen God? Well, I really like. I feel like God has provided with us with a lot of people to serve. Yeah, you guys do a really great job with that. And there's a lot of kids that come yeah. that live in our apartments, so yeah. it's kind of nice to have you guys there because then you can kind of connect with them and um, be the one to hand out the pizza and make them feel very welcome and, yeah. and again, yeah. like trying to make them feel loved. It was fun when you got to ride around the golf cart handing out yeah. pizza. Oh, that was fun. There's always perks. How do we usually end all of this? Ice cream! Ice cream. We usually always end with ice cream. So we always have ice cream. There's some bribery there. There is. That's not where we see God. <laughs> see God in the ice cream. Well, that was fun. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm glad there yeah, was some yeah. good. Um, we know there's some bad. <laughs> we do see God in it a lot, and that's why we do a lot of what we do. And you guys are a big help to us in that. So that's good. I think that brings us up to speed that's with where we're at today and what it looks like a little bit. And I think that's the final video. Yep. And so that's the, that's the thing. If anyone chooses to invest with Threefold, you're investing with the team here, not yep. just with Lee or well, and our investors are a big part of Threefold on Mission. I mean, it's exactly. it's through the investments and the residents that our investors come in on with us. So yeah, absolutely. If you invest with Threefold, this is definitely what you're signing up for. And uh, we appreciate all our investors because of that. Yeah. But yeah, I guess until next time, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll have another one in the future when we get something new, when we start doing something different or bigger. Things change up. It's always changing yeah. up. <laughs> until next time.